Hello there guys, glad to see all of you watching another video of mine. In this video, I will be discussing another scraping project required by one of my clients. The script needed to have the capability of fetching all the reviews for a given app from the app store and store it in a JSON file. The data points required were the username of the person who has given the review, time of the review, review title, review text, rating given by the user and the review ID. Let me open Chrome and have a look at one of the app on App Store. So this is the official app of the Chelsea Football Club. Here we can see that this app has an average rating of 4.6 and a total of 987 people have rated this app at the time of recording this video. Now this is important to note that the number of reviews will always be less than the total number of ratings. This is because let's face it, most of the time we are too busy or rather I should be saying too lazy to write a review. I think the every number of reviews for a given app is just 10 to 15 percent of the total number of rating it has. Moving on, when we click on see all under the review section, we will have all the reviews for the app. Let's have a look at just first review. Here we have the review rating, name of the user who has made the review, the time of the review, review title and review text. It is missing the review ID. To fetch the review ID, we need to have access to the XHR file from the network tab of the developer console. Let me just open developer console and navigate to the XHR file. Now when we go to this XHR file and study the response, we can see that we have the ID associated with this review. This is the review ID that we are interested in. Now before I execute the script, I guess I will show you the config file where the user can input data to control the script. The config file is the JSON file that contains three key value pairs. The first key is the app URL. This key contains the URL of the app whose reviews are to be scraped. The second key is the reviews to fetch. This key takes an integer as its value which depicts the total number of reviews that are needed to be fetched. We have provided a value of 0 to this key. This simply tells the script that we want to fetch all the reviews for this app. The third and final key is the save after review number. This key also takes an integer as its value. This value is the number of fetched review after which the script will save the reviews to the JSON file. We have provided a value of 1000 to this key that tells the script to save fetched review after every 1000th review. Now let me just head over to the terminal and run the script. Okay, okay. So if we recollect from a config file, right now the script is designed to scrape all the reviews for Chelsea official app from App Store. And after every thousand review is fetched, data is stored in JSON file. But as less than thousand people have rated this app, so number of reviews will be less than thousand. And hence data will be stored in JSON file only after all reviews are fetched. Okay, now let me just run the script. So on execution, first thing the script perform is that it hits the server and fetches the metadata and displays the app name, app ID, total rating and the average rating of the app. We can press enter and confirm that this is indeed the app that we are interested in to fetch the reviews from and the script will start fetching the review from the server. Here it is important to note that the scraping process is very fast as we are fetching the data from the XHR file and not from the HTML. We are fetching data in the patch of 10 reviews per call as each XHR file contains 10 reviews and a new XHR is called once current XHR is read. So we have fetched all the reviews and as we thought they are less than 100 reviews. In total, we have around 78 reviews and are stored in the JSON file. Let me just head over to the project folder and have a look at the JSON file. So in JSON file, we can see the app name, source from which the reviews are fetched, that is the app store, app ID, app URL, total ratings, average rating and total review fetched. These are the different reviews we have fetched. Here we have the type of reviews, which is user review. Then we have username of the person who have made the review, rating given to the app, date of review, title of review and the text of review. Now let's just try and fetch reviews of the app which has a larger number of reviews. So I've selected footmob app. 
It is an app that gives scores of football matches. As you can see, this app has over 57,000 ratings and has an average rating of 4.9. So I guess it must have over 4 to 5,000 reviews. So let me just make changes to the config file. I will just copy the app URL from the browser and paste it to the value of the app URL key in the config file. We will just be fetching 1000 reviews and so we will give key reviews to fetch a value of 1000. And we will like to save the data to the JSON file after every 100th review. So now let's just run the script. On executing the script, the script first shoots the metadata information about the app like app name, total ratings, etc. Okay, now we have started fetching the reviews. The reviews are being fetched in the patch of 10 reviews per call as mentioned earlier. And you can see that the data is being saved in the JSON file after every 100th review fetch. Now this might take up to a minute to fetch 1000 reviews. And you can see that the data is being saved into JSON file after every 100th review we are fetching. So now the script has fetched all the reviews and saved the data in JSON file. Let's examine the JSON file. So let me go to the project folder and open the JSON file. Now here we can see that we have the app name, app ID, app URL, total ratings, average rating, total reviews fetched and these are the reviews. So I guess this explains properly about the working of this project. If you have any such work or need any kind of data from any website, please feel free to contact me through Upload. You can also contact to me through Instagram, Twitter or through Gmail. Links of all these medium can be found in the description. Also do subscribe my YouTube channel and like and share this video if you liked my work as it will help me a lot as I am just starting out. See you all in next video. Till then take care, work hard and party harder.